Hey guys, uh, just going to go over today's notes from Solution Stoichiometry, which is just combining solutions and what we know about them, specifically concentration, to stoichiometry, which we learned last unit. Essentially what we're doing is just adding a conversion factor, and we already know it from concentration. We know that molarity is equal to moles of solute per one liter of solution. It's always going to be a ratio of moles of solute to solution. Uh, to example, see how that works. So say you had a 1.5 molar solution, you'd have 1.5 moles of solute per one liter. Similarly, if you had a 0.7 molar solution, you would have 0.7 moles per one liter. So whatever that molarity is, that's the number of moles you'll have in one liter of solution. There's three types of problems you'll see here. The first is starting in liters. And going to grams. I'm going to use A and B here to denote the substances that we're changing from. And that would be anything in a balanced equation. So if I start with any amount, I'll say x liters of A, the way that I'm going to convert that to moles, which is our first step in stoichiometry problems, is to say that one liter is equal to number of moles of A. And again, remember that in the mol this is the molarity conversion factor, and that there's 1.5 moles in a 1.5 molar solution, whatever. So this number that would go there is from the molarity, which will be given to you. The next step is to use your mole ratio. Go from moles of A to moles of B. Those numbers are from your balanced equation. So that's our mole ratio. And then third step is going from one mole of B to its molar mass, since I want grams. And that's from our last unit. So here we have grams of B. Our second problem that we'll see is starting in grams of A and going to liters of B. So this is basically the same problem as above, just backwards. So I'm starting with a certain number of grams of A and by the molar mass ratio I convert to moles, and I go into my mole ratio, I have moles of A, moles of B, again those coefficients are from the balanced equation, and every mole of B, oh, I'm sorry, uh, for every liter I'll have a certain number, um, we'll say X moles of B, and again that's from molarity, in the 1.5 example, it would be 1.5 moles of B, um, you know, whatever's in front of the molarity symbol there. And that will give me liters of B. And the third problem is a liters to liters solution problem, or liters of A to liters of B. So if I have a certain number of liters of A, again I'm using a molarity ratio here, Every liter has a certain number of moles, which will be given to you. You go from moles of A to moles of B. And again, every liter has a certain number of moles, which is from molarity. Again, will be provided. So then I end up with liters of B. These are, you can kind of think of as the bare bones or the um, well, we'll just say bare bones for now. The word I'm looking for escapes me. Um, so then let's look at what each of these looks like in context of an actual balanced equation and things like that. So our first two problems, we're going to use magnesium plus hydrochloric acid going to make magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. And the numbers here will correlate to the numbers we did in our um, kind of 
bare bones equations on the previous page of notes. First question asks, how many grams of hydrogen gas will be produced from reacting 0 0.2, so let's say 20 milliliters of 1.5 molar hydrochloric acid with excess magnesium. And remember that excess magnesium part is just telling me that um, hydrochloric acid will be my limiting reactant, therefore that's the amount of product I'll make. I'll use 20 milliliters of 1.5 molar, molar hydrochloric acid to produce the amount in grams of the hydrogen gas. So looking at my bare bones equations from the previous page, I start with liters of A and a liters to grams problem and convert using molarity to moles of A. So let's do that first. Converting to liters quick, move the decimal three places left, get 0 0.020 liters hydrochloric acid. Remembering that each liter has, since the, it's 1.5 molar, that's 1.5 moles per liter, which I have there. And I'm going to convert from moles of HCl to moles of where I want to go, which is hydrogen. That's a 2 to 1 ratio. And then I use the molar mass ratio. Each mole of hydrogen gas has a mass of 2 grams. Calculate that out, and you'd find it would be 0.03 grams of hydrogen. Second problem is a grams to liters problem, and we'll see what that looks like here. How many liters of 1.5 molar hydrochloric acid will react with 35 grams of magnesium? I'm starting with grams of magnesium. And first step, get to moles. So every mole of magnesium has a molar mass of 24.3 grams. And then I have one mole of magnesium for my balanced equation for every two moles of hydrochloric acid. And then I'm using my molarity conversion factor again. So every mole, sorry, there's 1.5 moles of hydrochloric acid in every liter. Again, 1.5 molar means 1.5 moles per liter. Calculate that out and get 1.92 liters of hydrochloric acid. So that follows my framework again. Molar mass converts to moles, mole ratio, and then use the molarity conversion factor, a certain number of moles per liter, to get to liters of that solution. And the third problem is a different balanced equation going to have lead to nitrate reacting with sodium iodide to make sodium nitrate and lead to iodide. And the question I'm going to ask here will be a liters to liters correlating with my framework. That's where I was looking for before on the previous page. It's going to ask how many liters of 0 0.5 molar sodium iodide will react with 100 milliliters of 1.2 molar lead to nitrate. Look at my liters to liters framework I have here. I start with a certain volume in liters of A. So what I have here is 100 milliliters of 1.2 molar lead to nitrate. So I have 100 milliliters of lead to nitrate. I need liters convert quickly to get 0 0.100 liters of lead to nitrate. And then I'm using molarity. Again, that's what this conversion factor is. It's molarity. For every liter, I have a certain number of moles. And in each liter, I have 1.2 moles of lead to nitrate. 
And from the balance equation, I have one mole blood two nitrate for every two moles of sodium iodide. And then I want liters again, so I'm going to have to use molarity. And for every liter, I have 0 0.5 moles of sodium iodide. Do the math there. And I end up with excuse me, 0 0.48 liters of sodium iodide. So that's the process you go through to um, for each of these. Remember that the framework can always be used to help you set up each of these problems and then you can kind of fill in the numbers. And the better you label, the more accurately you'll be able to fill in the numbers later. Uh, good luck.